JF Stretford Paddock. Young boys to Manchester United one. The Reds going down in Switzerland after taking the lead. Ten men at Manchester United going down, I should say, after taking the lead. A yeah. last minute winner for Young Boys after a Jesse Lingard mistake. Joining me as always is Joe Smith. Joe, we're just off camera there. Yeah. Um we um we were talking and he just said it felt like Istanbul again, didn't it? Mm. It's exactly the same. But although the only you know, the 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 one positive that you have from that is we had already won the first two games by the time we got to that one. Do you know what I mean? Whereas this, there's no, there's no upside. Do you know what I mean? It's it's just as bad as that was. There are more obvious excuses this time, but at the same time, it's it doesn't negate the fact that we've just lost. No, it doesn't. Get involved in the, cat, uh, in the chat even. Get involved in the comments. Hit that like button. You might not like the result, but you can like us on our videos. Um, we'll go back to the, the start. 1-0 yeah. up, thanks to that boy, Ronaldo. And it, you thought... I was sat here thinking this is going to be an easy day at the office. Mm. You know, young boys aren't exactly European super weights. You've got Ronaldo off the mark already, pretty comfortable. I know mm. he had a little bit of the ball, but I was thinking this could be like it was last time, three 0 away there. Maybe um, it could be a similar sort of score. We looked in control, didn't we, after the first sort of thirty minutes or mm. up until the the red card? A good start from Manchester United. Just it's so stupid that red card. Yeah, it's just absolute stupidity because. We said it before, he's he's in their half. It's not like a last-ditch challenge that he has to make. It's the last minute of the game. Nothing you can do there, including giving a goal away, yeah. is more damaging to the team than being sent off. No, Nothing you can do, because we are better than these. We've been better than them for the whole game so far. Even if it was last-ditch tackling, they're running through on goal. Even then, don't get yourself sent off. We can win. So to, to not only get sent off, but in a completely needless, needless fashion... Where you've just overtouched the ball, it's a shit control. You've you've let the ball run on, and instead of just you know standing in front of the ball, try and block the pass, you can do. You don't have to. He's gone fucking right in, right through over the ball onto someone's ankle. It is a red. You know we tried to put up an argument because we're United fans, but that's a red card, isn't it? No, it's question? one. Of, I, I said it at the time, and I think you said something similar. If that's the other way around, I'm screaming for a red card. Yeah, I am, and it's by the by. You do that in the modern game. You're up, you're up for getting a red card. Especially even if you want to get league. technical, is it, is, come on. You're going to get a red card in that. And it's so, so pointless. Yeah, I could understand it if, like you were saying, you, you're trying to save a, a, a shot in the last minute that's going to give, give them all three points or whatever. But you're not. You, you're 1-0 up at, on near the halfway line in the first half. Even if the kid goes past you, I don't care. So what? Do you know what I mean? Like, he's got another 80 yards or whatever yeah. to get to the goal. Just leave it. But it's just, he's not thought about it, Wambasaka. He's just, he's, his touch has let him down and he's thrown himself in without thinking. And it's stupid as well because it's unfair. It's not unfair on him because he deserves criticism for doing that because it's just stupidity. But I think some people sort of conflate the 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 fact that Wambasaka's first touch isn't great. And then they then say, so this is like him. This isn't like him. He doesn't get sent off. He doesn't even get booked very often. He's tackling his world class. We know that. But it is a symptom, this, this thing of he does have a bad first touch. Attacking-wise, he's, he's, he's not always where he should be. But it's just so stupid. And what was it? The red card against PSG at home last season. Yeah. And people blamed Ollie for Fred getting sent off because he should have seen it coming. Right, okay, what, that's one thing. This is just stupidity. No one, no one other than Aaron Wambasaka can take any of the blame for that. And then after that, I mean, the stupidity doesn't stop there, does it? We, I think Oli made a bad decision by going to a five at the back because for me, we we don't play a five at the back well enough or often enough for it to improve us. It then takes another man out of the midfield when we'd already removed um, Donny van der Beek and. Uh, uh, Jaden Sancho at the ha at half time and just before half time. So now we've got two people in midfield and no wingers and five at the back. Uh, do you know what? You're right. I'm going to get to win Luke Shaw as well, who for their first goal is about 10 yards he's from so his far man. away from that cross. And he kept it's, doing it. It's ridiculous. And there's no excuse for that, especially when you've got five at the back. I'll get in some of these super chats and then we'll get back to it. Um, We've got Abhishek Paddy says, yes, mistakes were the reason we lost, but the tactics in the second half was the reason we didn't win. No need to go five at the bat like we were playing against Bayern. Mm. Might have a point there. Anand Makashi says, wrong subs again. Brought on three de defensive players against young boys. Lingard comes on for what? He's good at pressing, which Juno, Bruno was doing already. Should have brought on Greenwood instead. Can't defend Ole. I mean, I, agree, I kind of agree. I did want Greenwood to come on rather yeah. than... Um, 
rather than Jesse Lingard. It didn't make much sense to me. But, but all right, but let's have a look at what's actually happened here. We're down to 10 men. It's going to be difficult. You're away from home. You're playing against a team that is obviously good enough to qualify for the Champions League. They're not a big team, but they're not utter shit. And then the second goal, Jesse Lingard gives the ball away 25 yards out, passes it straight to their striker. I agree that maybe, you know, I agree with that. He's not the reason we lost, but he's maybe he's the reason we didn't score again. We were 1-0 up when we went five at the back. You wouldn't think that defensively we get shitter at that point. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Would we have, I think we would have conceded more chances if we'd have been playing four at the back. The thing is as well, right? I, I, get, I understand why people are questioning, especially from like, you bring in on Jesse and he makes that mistake. But if Jesse doesn't make that mistake, it's a draw and it's okay. Yeah, it's not great, but it's okay. And it's just, you've got to be better than I feel that. Bad he's for Jesse he's a 28 year old with bags of experience in the last minute of a Champions League game, yeah. laying on a through ball for a, uh, an attacking striker. That's not the And I love fault. Jesse Lingard. I do. Do you know what I mean? How many times have me and you spoke about Jesse Lingard over yeah, the past tons. year? And I, I, every time I say the same thing, I love the kid. I genuinely do. And, you know, I would love it to work out for Manchester United, even though I thought he should have moved on in the summer. But you can't excuse that. No. And you've got to look past. The personality and what you think about playing, just look at that as an individual making a mistake. That's unacceptable at this level. Laying on a ball. If that was Fred, we'd be all up in arms. Yeah, the world would Do have you know exploded what I mean? if that was And Fred. rightly so, because yeah. it's a terrible mistake. No excuses. Yeah. I know Jesse will be hurting. You know, he'll know he's yeah, made an absolute clangor, cost his team the, the point, and he'll you know he'll be feeling it, but he's got to do better. Um, I'll get through some of the super chats and I'll get back to something in a minute with you. Uh, Ulrich Jude says, These people, people saying Oli doesn't have a plan. He literally made changes to affect the game. We aren't obliged to win. Sometimes things don't work. I, I like that. I like that we aren't obliged to win. Just because you've just because we've got better players doesn't mean you you win every game. Yeah, it was shit today, and there was uh, two obvious mistakes that cost us. First of all, control of the game with Wan Bissaka. I think if he doesn't get sent off, there is no chance. We we one hundred percent would not lose that game. Obviously, they could get a goal, but we would not have lost that if Wan Bissaka had stayed on the, the pitch. The thing is, as well, no when, when Wan Bissaka gets sent off, right? We've still got for me the tools to get over the line. Yeah, you've definitely. got enough subs. You can make five subs. You've got a goal cushion. You're up against a team that, whilst you're right, it's a Champions League uh, competing team. They have got decent players. It's not even remotely in the top 20 teams in the no, world or whatever. No this is, these are in the Premier League. They probably, you know, you're talking like you're playing against a, a Watford or something like that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you think we can, with the uh, uh, players we've got at our disposal, the, 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 the subs we can make, we should be able to see this game out to at least a draw. And it's so frustrating that yeah. not only did we lose, right? But we spent an hour with our backs to the wall almost, yeah. just and not enjoying that game. It was a spectacle. It was horrible to watch because yeah. it was just pressure after pressure, some awful decision making by Manchester United players. And I don't take any comfort from saying that. And it's just not good enough. Not just Jesse giving the ball away, but there was a lot of passes that players holding on to the ball too long. Players choosing the wrong pass. Um, I'll get through some super chats and I'll get your thoughts yeah. on that. Uh, Saggy Made says, Oli handled this wrong. Why back three? The low change. Pogba, Bruno, Sancho and Ronaldo up front. 4-3-2. Four, four, play football. Don't blame Aaron Wambasaka. These things happen. I mean, I think, you know... You... I, I, I'm not having that. No. I tell, fair enough. Say you think the changes were poor. To say do not blame Aaron Wambasaka, who with nothing other than stupidity has cost Manchester United not necessarily three points, but control of the game in that moment and for the rest of the game, you can't say that. You can have one, but you can't have you can't say don't blame Wambasaka. It's absolute mindlessness from him and it cost Manchester United there. That's you can't say that. Ten men is ten men. You can't blame Ollie for the subs. And also not blame Oli for not blame Wan Bissaka for the red card. Fair enough, give Oli some stick, but Wan Bissaka has to take some culpability in that. He's got himself sent off for no reason. Come on. No, I agree. Uh, Nagesh Rayo says that Van der Beek substitution sent us to a very defensive shape. Very unfortunate for Jesse. Is he Champions League quality? He must be feeling horrid. He will be feeling horrid. Yeah, I feel he will. Bad for he him. will. I do feel for him because I know he'll be hurting. But that doesn't mean we're not going to sit here and point out that that was just not good enough by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, Abdullah Ibrahim um, says, we really need to improve on Wan-Bissaka. Aside from the sending off, his passes to Sancho kept putting us under unnecess unnecessary pressure. Mm. Um, Sean Ralph in the Super Chat says, uh, so disappointing after the good starts yeah. of the season. We, all need a pl we always need a plan in the back pocket for 10 men and we didn't have one. Team, team changed twice. Um, the thing is, it, we did have a plan. Yeah. There was an obvious plan implemented there. It was go five at the back, have two wing backs, try and play out that way. Yeah. There was a plan. Yeah. It didn't work. 
No. It wasn't if to say we didn't have a plan, you would you would see it and say, Well, we didn't change anything. We clearly didn't have a plan. We did have a plan, the plan didn't work. There's a difference. Uh, Adel Adil Ducati says players are good enough to play any formation, should have controlled the game in the second half and made more chances. Um I'm just gonna go into some of the chat as well, some of the comments, because it's not just about super chats. Um Jenna Chadwick says I love Lingard, but I think he found his level at West Ham. Would we'll take Matter instead of Jesse any the, day of the week. The thing is though, West Ham are better than young boys. At West Ham it won't like, oh it's fine when he just passes the ball to their striker with sixteen seconds left. <laughs> we 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 we're happy with that at West Ham because we're shit. That is that level of football isn't accepted at under tens Sunday league. No. Giving the ball to the striker in the last second isn't a level. It's a mistake in any game in the history of football. That is a mistake. So don't be like, he found his level because he does that every week. No. It's an uncharacteristic mistake from Jesse Lingard, but it is still a mistake. I think Mackie pointed out during the watch line, it's like, when I first saw it, I couldn't even begin to imagine what he was trying to do. No. I think when we watched it back, it looks like he's going to play it back to De Gea. He's seen a young boys player in his sort of peripheral view and he's panicked last minute yeah. and almost tried to play the ball to the hair but avoid the man and just yeah. done neither. So he's gone right across the yeah. side of straight today, it's yeah. gone all the way across the Yeah, and yeah. it's and he's sort of because he's done a last minute change, you know, when you move your foot sort of slightly last minute, mm. it's weak and it's so it's in the wrong direction and it's weak as well. Yeah. There's more pace on it, the hair will get there first. So it's just a, a complete awful decision by Jesse Lingard. Um you you said at the start and I agreed, this this is the Istanbul game again, isn't it? Yeah. We've seen it again here. The difference with this game and that game, one of them, which I pointed out before, was we already had six points in the pocket by then. Yeah. The difference now, though, is the rest of the teams are much more beatable than PSG and RB Leipzig. Yeah. Certainly last season's RB Leipzig before G they lost all their yeah. best players. Um, how worried are you for the rest of this group now? Because it wasn't necessarily a banker, but it was, other than young boys at home, the, yeah. probably the most winnable game of the, f of the six. Do you know what I'm worried about now? I'm worried about the fact that we've got players who need resting. We've mm. got players. Cristiano Ronaldo is the most obvious one. He can't play every single game. It'll want to. But you might now be in a situation, you could have been in a situation where you win your first four games. Yeah, and then, three. Yeah. And then you start going, okay, we've got a league game coming up. We've got City or whatever. I'm going to run it. You're sitting this one out, yeah. son. It's just the way it is. Do you know what I mean? I need you for the derby. You know, maybe Varane, maybe, you know, Bruno or whoever. Obviously, it's not going to all your best players, but mm. you, you, your game management. Now you have to play a stronger team for every single game and you have to play a strong team for the league. So yeah. it's going to affect both. It is because it's going to affect you in the Champions League, the fact that you're under pressure and you can't really start dropping any more silly points. And also, you might have to play a stronger team in the Champions League than you wanted to. That means they're either going to be knackered for the Premier League game or you're going to have to rest them for certain Premier League games. So it's just that knock-on effect it has. And also, there's that ever sort of hanging thing over Ole that because he's not won a trophy, because we spent a lot of money this summer, he is going to be under pressure. And I'm not getting carried away and saying, oh, that's it, Ole out. You know my thoughts on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. But for every defeat he has, the pressure's on him. Yeah. And if we don't get out of this group, he's going to struggle to keep his job. I'm mm -hmm. telling you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that sounds melodramatic after one game. I'm not saying now. I mean, if we don't, for the second year running, get out of the Champions League group, especially a group that's got Villarreal, Atalanta and young boys in it, yeah. you're going to struggle to keep your job as Manchester United manager. Do you know what I mean? It's the sort of yeah. situation yeah. that can cost you, and I hate saying that. Yeah. Uh, Cash Money 996 says, Ollie got his tactics completely wrong after that red card. Why take off midfielders for defenders? Then 88th minute, take off a defender off and bring on Martial shows his lack of experience and na naivety. Um, well, what do you mean when you say lack of experience? He's been a, f a manager for like seven years. That's not think, a lack of experience. Do you think there is, is a... Um, maybe, you're right. Maybe. He has been... A, I mean, he's been a manager for longer than that. When was he at, when was he at Mulder? He yeah. won the title in 2011, didn't he? 2012, sorry. Was it? Yeah, so... so yeah. No, I, I know I'm not trying to nitpick no. on what you said. I, I get what you meaning. Um, I think the experience might be maybe Champions League experience. Yeah. Has he got three years of it? Yeah. But even so, he's got enough Champions League experience to know... It could have been better, I think, with game management. Yeah. I ultimately feel, though, it doesn't matter whether you're Alex Ferguson or, you know, you're managing or the me. Red Lion. Yeah. If, some, if one of your players lays on a goal in the last kick of the game for the opposition, there's not much you can do tactically no. there. Uh, Meb3 says, who moved Jesse back into midfield when he subbed off Fred? It was Forrest Gump Solskjaer. Honestly, honestly if you are blaming Ole Gunnar Solskjaer for Jesse passing the ball, specifically Jesse as well, because he's not saying the tactics generally, yeah. he's on about Jesse, you are... Just, why are you watching? 
You are watching to find problems with the manager. Who moved Jesse back to midfield? Where do you think? Where else does Jesse play? What other position does Jesse Lingard play other than in the midfield? No, 100%. That's all he's ever played his whole career is, is a midfielder. Um, Ivan Chung says, I think all players will make mistakes. This is just one of those days. Honestly. I think this is good. It brings us back to realise our issues still early. Go, um, you. That's very confident. The camera. Um, we should have started um, Varane. It's not a game to rest him. I would have understood if it was the League Cup, but an away game in a Champions League game, not the reason we lost, but didn't help. He was on the pitch when both of their goals went in. Yeah, uh, Ronaldo said that we have to be mature to win trophies so I today. I don't think it was a reason. No, he's literally on the pitch. Nah, he, he, yeah, the, 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 it's individual he didn't get, errors. didn't get Wan Bissaka sent off, and he was on the pitch when both young boys' goals went in. I think the thing with like for me, doesn't matter who you are as a manager. If if players that you should be able to rely on to do certain things yes. just make absolute fuck ups. Yeah. You, it's not on all and on the manager. The thing of acting like, and I, 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 again, I'm not saying I agree. With, I wouldn't have gone five at the back, but yeah. I, I, I have haven't got a UEFA Pro license. But <laughs> personally, I wouldn't have done that, rightly or wrongly. But this thing of like blaming Ollie for Wan Bissaka getting sent off, blaming Ollie for Lingard, like you just said, passing the ball to the striker, with like, how are you blaming Ollie for that? I, I get it. Maybe you wouldn't have done this, this, and this, but the two. Big problems with that game were Wan-Bissaka getting sent off and Jesse Lingard giving the ball away. And they aren't his fault. Neither of those things it's are his It's two fault. horrendous errors by players who should know better. Yeah, and, but It's and not like, if it was Anthony Langer, yeah. I'd still be annoyed, but I'd go, all right, he, the, the occasion's got to him, Champions League debut or whatever, yeah. I don't know, he might have played, no, he hasn't played in Champions League. And, you know, you sort of, then you can maybe go, Ollie, well, why is Ollie bringing on a child? for a yeah. game like this but you've got a 28 year old who's played in World Cup semi-finals scored winners in finals and you know has got as much experience as almost anyone on the pitch by you know one or two others and then you've got in Aaron Wan-Bissaka a player who's been a first team player for Manchester United for a good two and a half season now or whatever yeah. it is and you know knows better than to dive in like that in the 30th minute when you're one nil up on the halfway line that is just stupidity yeah. from two players who should know better and I'm not going to hammer them because you know no. they'll probably hurt and, and they'll know it but that for me is more on them than it is on Ollie. And also when you're down to 10 men the door is open to any result. Yes you can point to the example of Chelsea sticking it out against Liverpool but there are countless, of example, countless examples of good teams being down to 10 men against lesser teams and then that telling throughout the game. It's not a guarantee that just because you've got a better team, you can play with one less player and win every time. It becomes difficult. It, obviously, it's it, you know we would have. I don't think we would have lost if we did have eleven men. But when it's ten men, we sh still shouldn't have lost. But shit happens when you've got ten men. I think as well, you know, you, you have to assess it, and it's the what is it? Three games in four days, or whatever. Two games, sorry, in four days. Yeah. You know, you need a lot of energy from a lot of these players. Um, Yash says Ronaldo said that we have to be mature to win trophies today we made so many rash decisions uh, hopefully CR7 and Varane's influence matures his team yeah. um, Kia D'Souza says can't let it get to our heads no red card we win when they play us at home we'll win 3-0 errors that Oli had no control of cost us I'm confident yep. we still get out of this group Oli in let's keep our cool like um, Tommy McCartney says why do all these stupid Oli out has never put any responsibility on the players it seems every time we lose is 100% Oli's fault this isn't FIFA he doesn't control the players for fuck's sake um, and um, I, yeah I think I've already read that out um, you can criticize Anand Makashi says we can criticize Oli without being Oli out. That's fair enough. Of course. Um, oh, sorry, there's, there's, I thought that was, I'm, I think I've got them all there. But missed the one. I think there's one. Um, um, I think Adil Dikati. I don't know if I said this one. Uh, players good enough to play in any formation. Yeah, we have. Um, Shall we wrap it up there? Yeah, I think I think I'm just conscious. I don't want to miss any super chat. I think I've got all the super chats. Um, thanks for everyone who has commented and. Um, it's not the end of the world. We've still got five games to get probably nine points. Yeah. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. And, if, you know, if anything, the sort of the comfort is there's so much more to go. Yeah. Um, so we'll leave it there. Don't forget to check out the merchandise as well, paddockmerch.com. Hit subscribe if you're not doing as well. We're over 600,000 subscribers. Let's get 700,000 subscribers mm -hmm. by the end of the season. Not the result we wanted, but, you know, it's not. It's not over yet, is it? One game in, we've got another five games to go in a Champions League group and we can certainly get out of this group mm -hmm. and be the likes of Villarreal and Atlanta. That's been Joel Smith. Go and check him out, Joel Smith 93. You know where to find me, Jay Marty. This has been the Paddock, po Paddock Podcast. Been the...
Paddock live review. I've had enough. It's a big game. Yeah, I've had enough. Thanks for watching.